Dog Gadgets. Live! Hey, I'm Josh from Brown Dog Gadgets. I'm currently playing on my phone. Uh, trying to share it to a couple of groups here because we always share Let things there. Know what's going on. It's true because we're doing a really fun activity. We're going to make ourselves a little tiny uh, paper dinosaur, like a light up paper craft dinosaur using conductive tape. This is an old project of ours. Uh, we've made several versions of this over the years. But we're going to show you how to do some step by step uh, making of this little cute project. Great for young kids or adults wanting to make a paper dinosaur. We have several designs, including a design piece. The other day I found we had made a design, like a <laughs> yeah. like a PDF, but we never actually published it on yeah. our website. This is sitting like in a folder on... Leo, uh, Leo something, Plesiosaurus. 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 Right. So I'm going to stop touching my phone now <laughs> because I know, just was sharing it with different people because otherwise Meanwhile, nobody... people can be reminded of all the wonderful places they can find us oh, on the worldwide. Follow us on these wonderful sources. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we love doing paper circuits projects and we like to put these up on our website. We have a wide variety of them from simple stuff like this to more complicated things that use Arduinos and are interactive and transistors, all sorts of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Even solar projects like our new solar bug. Brown.gadgets.com. And we do have... If you want to buy these supplies from us, if nothing else, grab some maker tape. This is our nylon conductive tape. Hashtag maker tape. Uh, it's much stronger than copper foil. It's way easier to use on and, and literally any paper circuits project. And if you have LEDs and batteries already, use those. Uh, download the templates off our website, browndoggadgets.com, or make you know one of the other ones. We have a pterodactyl. Yeah. We have a, a triceratops, and we'll have that plesiosaurus as well. Or do your own design. But so enough of me, me chattering. Oh, one last thing, too. I always forget. Ah. If you're watching, like Cat Science Club I know is watching, because <laughs> yeah. they're always watching, because they're cool people. True. Um, if you're watching, throw a comment out on Facebook, YouTube, wherever. I have a question. We'll throw it up on the screen and talk to you, because we are live. Live. We have our first question, Josh. Oh, gosh darn it. Oh, uh, Cat Science Club, <laughs> you missed yesterday when we uh, we weren't here yesterday. We were doing stuff with Make oh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So we actually did it uh, through on Wednesdays. Frequently, we do things with uh, Make through their family maker, maker camp. Maker camp, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, we actually didn't do a live stream through our own channel on days we're doing things with Make because we have right. other things to do. Uh, we, we made a, uh, a dark detecting circuit, which we've done on our own stream before. So we have questions. Throw them up here, like Cat Science Club, because they're awesome. But let's switch to our overhead camera now. Overhead. And boo -doo 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 -doo. da da, -da. That works. So uh, we actually pre-cut out all of these parts ahead of time with our cameo silhouettes that look really nice. Or did you cut them out by hand, Pete? No, that's a machine cut. We machine, I thought so. I thought I heard the machine going, goo 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 goo. Uh, but we have these directions on our website, our dino friend. Watch out if you spell it wrong, it's dino fiend, which is just <laughs> super weird. Uh, but we have this nice little step-by-step -step directions in here. We've had these, again, these are some old directions of ours. Um, and some nice step-by-step -step things. We actually you can tell they're old because I think we might actually even refer to copper foil on directions. Wow. So we've come back and updated them. Copper but, foil. Wah, wah, wah. But the nice part is we do have these templates on here, too. You can print off and cut out or use them to stencil onto other colored paper, which is what the big thing is. The directions are pretty straightforward, especially your adult uh, as well. So we're going to do a slight modification of this because these are old directions. Old. It tells you to use a, a paper clip. And instead, we're going to use a di uh, binder clip because we can actually use this to give the dinosaur little tiny dinosaur arms. Arms. Aww. Aww. But we're going to make this fun circuit up today. So, uh, Pete. Yes. What color should we use for our dino eye? Well, I feel like red is menacing. Um, but I don't know. What do you what do you think? I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't care. We could actually <laughs> here we do we could actually we could uh, play the, the game of is this a white or is this a color changing? That's a fun game. I play it a lot around here. Uh, actually, you can tell because the color changing have a uh, flat edge to them. Oh. They, actually, they physically have a physical like difference the on them. Old style LEDs. Yes, actually, that we have two flat sides on our on our color changing, which you can't really tell from the picture. But instead of having a completely round bulb, they've got a flat edge. They also don't roll uh, because I think of it. One leg is longer than the other. Well, that's because the long is positive, the short is negative. I like color changing. It's a little pizzazz for no extra cost. It'll just slowly color cycle through here. There you go, just naturally. Now all of our LEDs have built-in resistors on them. So if you're a person like, hey, Josh. Why aren't you using a resistor in your paper circuits project? That's not yeah, really right. educational. News to you, buddy. <laughs> uh, we got uh, we actually build these with built-in resistors on them. All of our 10 millimeter LEDs, we get LEDs manufactured from one company just in bulk. We use them for like our crazy circuits parts as well. 
and we have built-in uh, resistors on the head. If you really want to test it out, grab a regular like red LED versus one of ours and measure the amperage draw. Now hold on, Josh. I've seen resistors, and they're they're big. They're like the oh piece of a piece of rice. How are you putting it inside that tiny little? Well, actually, resistors can be really small because on oh. here we have like two little tiny resistors. Yeah. Hey Pete, we can go close up camera. Close up. Here we go. I don't go. think it's actually right. uh, yeah. Ooh, close. No, you want. There we go. Yeah. We, have, we have a couple like little resistors on this guy. Tiny. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, resistors can be tons of different sizes, even smaller ones than this. Like, they used get... to be big in the old days. Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, let's really go back big. overhead. I do have an old like 1930s working radio, tube radio, Ooh. and it's big ceramic, made of ceramic yeah. resistors, which go bad over time. You just replace them with little tiny little tiny ones that cost you half a cent each. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, they're built in the head. It makes it easy. It also helps you do uh, parallel circuits much easier if using more than one color. Uh, just one less thing for kids to have to worry about. So enough, enough chattering. Let's get Wait, to... Wait, one more chattering. Oh, my gosh. Uh, my cat got, they got some maker tape. Dude, well, that's you're awesome. welcome. Yeah, that's awesome, man. You deserve it. I hope they do something cool, and then maybe they mm. could let us know. Yes, if you make something cool with one of our pro uh, one of our projects or one of our products, post it to uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, and tag us. We will probably see it and probably share it because no one does that. Like we, we have like we have so many thousands of kids make bristle bots every year, and I get like one person emails me like my kids made this cool bristle bot. We and love that person who does that. At one it's person. such a horrible percentage point. It's not like we like say like send us a picture and we'll send you a dollar. We could do that. It's it's virtual dollar. What one dollar? Just Doge, so like Dogecoin. like a little bag with a dollar sign, one dollar sign, like yeah. one bag of dollar. Anyway, let's get to making this stupid thing. Yeah. No, it's not stupid. It's a dinosaur. They lived millions of years ago. So step one and two are pretty easy because you know what we've done. Uh, we've already cut it out. That's the hard part. Cut so, it out. Josh so, is like, cut it out, and I'm like, I will. Yeah. So I'm gonna double check it. So our LEDs have a short and long leg on them. In this situ in this situation, it's the one thing you can technically get wrong. Even then, if you have it backwards, you just flip the battery around uh, yeah. if the polarities. But long is positive, short is negative. And so in our directions, we have the front has the short leg, backside has the long leg. So I'm going to take my short leg and bend it out. Ta-da. And I'm going to find, find a fun spot on my dinosaur to give it an eye. Now, being a smart person, I'm not going to put it back here on the tail. Eyes don't usually go on tails. <laughs> I'm going to put it up here in the head, like middle-ish. This, this little guide kind of gives you an idea where it might go. Oh, uh, yeah, we can, yeah, whatever. There we go. By the way, our, our directions are very forgiving. So you, you plop the, the LED in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're going to bend on the back side this long leg down to kind of clamp it in place, make things easier. And now it's just adding oh, a bunch of tape. Looks like I bent the wrong way. There we go. These legs are, are very bendable. <laughs> Like an Olympic style gymnast, I, these yeah, legs are bendable. Waiting for something. To, yeah. They're very flexible people. <laughs> I've heard. Not me. I do not bend that much. No, you bend too much to break it. So, uh, step one. Yeah. <laughs> now, David Letterman does it better. I'm sure if I'll he print did. I'll put them on cardstock next time. It's okay. So now, our directions have these are old directions in the copper foil. There's two ways of attaching the LED leg to our tape. You can either put the tape down first, put the LED leg on top, and another piece of tape on top of it. Sandwich approach. Now, our tape is conductive on top and bottom, so you could just run the tape over the top of the LED leg, which I'll be doing today, to secure it down. It, mm -hmm. Either way works. It depends on how you're doing things. Long leg is positive. <laughs> yeah. Helpful hint from our friend uh, Cap there. Me, ow. Uh, but yeah, it can, I just tape things down most of the time. It, we don't have issues, especially with LEDs. Yeah. So not a problem. So I'm going to take a little bit extra tape than I need. I'm going to refresh myself. How does this go together? I don't like that. <laughs> um, perfect. So I'm just going to cut more than I need there. We're going to come down and then over like this. Or actually, just down. Just down, right? Just down. Is that what I'm doing there? Oh, yeah, it's just down. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I should really refresh been my memory. This. Been, this has been a long time since I've done this one. <laughs> I think we've used the same demos for like five years. We're just going to come straight down to about the middle right here. Because what's going to happen is we're going to fold over this arm, this little tab here on top, mm -hmm. to make our battery holder. Yeah. And so you want to get, yeah, you can get a little, little nub out like that right here. Ta -da. And just kind of like right here. And there's a couple ways you can do battery holders as well. If you want to hide the battery holder on the back and make your own dinosaur arms, we'll show you how to do that as well. This battery holder is a holdover. A lot of people like doing that. Uh, we're going to go with it because it's on our design. Uh, so we're just going to have the tape come down to about right there and stop. And i got to get this undone. So dinosaurs are cool. 
Oh, yeah, right? A lot of people, uh, mostly kids, really like dinosaurs. It's true. They're fun. They made a movie about them once. Uh, uh, Land Before Time. Yes, no. It, uh, Dino, dinosaurs, the, it's a documentary. Dinosaurs, I think. Yeah, Land Before Time. Oh, is that it? Okay. L- Littlefoot. Very sad. Now, now, Josh, will it matter which way the legs go? Are they talking about the dinosaur legs or the LED ones? LED legs? It doesn't matter, Cat. Because <laughs> uh, you just flip your battery over. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If you mess up, it really doesn't matter. Josh, I like to call it reverse the polarity. Reverse the polarity! <laughs> uh, there, the front is done, which is the negative wow. side. Now, one of the, by the way, if you want to, say, just make a battery holder anywhere, like just out of the blue, you can put a little loop of our tape like on the bottom of your battery mm-hmm. and then stick it down because our tape oh. is conductive on top and bottom. You can just make a battery holder like this and have the tape from the positive side come over to the top of this. Yep. You could do that. Yeah. You could hide in the backside, make little dinosaur arms. But this is kind of cute because we can use the binder clip for arms, which is hilarious. All right, so I'm done there. We're going to do the same thing on the backside, but except we're going to come down over and around to the front. So we're going to really start here, over and around. And I'm just going to start, where's my tape? Here it is. I'm going to start in the middle. Now, this tape is not going to be long enough. But luckily, as I mentioned before, our maker tape is conductive on top and bottom. Ooh, and the uh, adhesive uh, is conductive. So you can, thanks Pete. No the... problem. That's why we love you. Uh, you can just come over the back side. I'm going to do a right angle turn and oh no, I am too short. Actually, I'm, I'm long enough here. You're pretty tall, Josh. Actually, it's long enough. <laughs> I'm going to put another little piece on tape just to demonstrate my what I was talking about. We're just going to overlap the, overlap the piece of tape, the overlap, and they'll connect electrically. We have some good moves with Maker Tape. You got the overlap, you got the loop. You got the right angle turn. You got the right angle turn. Which you cannot do with copper foil because no. it'll just break. I love no, copper foil for, for certain things, but if you look at it from across the room and go like, hey, it'll break in half. Like a gust of wind will break it in half. A butterfly <laughs> flapping its wings in Brazil can cause copper foil tape in New York City oh, to break. We've seen it happen. Yeah. They call it the chaos effect. Yeah, they do. To, you know, mention other dinosaur-based movies. Right. With, uh, with looking good Jeff Goldblum in that. You know, they used to looking make good. pennies from copper, right? But they stopped because Well, they still do. <laughs> no, it's zinc now, I think. Well, they are. They're zinc, zinc core. It's a thin, thin, layer. A thin layer of copper on top. Uh, fun fact, during World War II, they uh, actually made uh, steel pennies Ooh. because they needed the copper for ships. They didn't need steel for planes or something? Or they needed more copper. Copper yeah. is hard to come by. Okay. So there we go. Our dinosaur is electrically wow. complete. We could stick this guy down here, put this on top. Ta-da! The dino dance. I'm not going to say the dino dance better rhyme. Than, from the dino dash. Oh, so I have a kid's book called The Dino Dance yeah. at home, which I read way too often at night as a bedtime story. And so I just have the rhymes of the dino dance in my head right now, okay. which I'm not going to sing. No. But anyway, so if you want to say secure this down like permanently, uh, you could put a little loop of tape on the bottom, a little loop of tape on the top, and stick this in place to secure it down. Yeah. And as I keep mentioning this whole like arm thing, I'm going to show you what I mean by the really cute arms. <laughs> this is something that came about randomly. So we do this. Now our little oh, T-Rex has little tiny arms. arms to turn it on and off. It's adorable. I, I noticed like little mechanical arms. You could even just put like a piece of paper over here. Is, isn't that cute, like Pete? T-Rex the Borg. No. Yeah, I, okay. I, I, I like that. I like that. Yeah, he's got you know, prosthetics. So. so now, since this is electrically done, I'm going to add the embellishments on here. And there's some embellishments. So we could add teeth. I'm not going to do that because those are hard to tape down. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to use, uh, like, get out the glow, uh, glow stick. Glow stick. Ooh, hey, yay. Uh, no, uh, get out the, the, the tape here. We're just going to put down some tape on the backside. So we have these little embellishments, or we have the kids do their own embellishments. Now, Pete, yeah. you can take the same design and make yourself a dragon out of it. Make myself a dragon? That sounds amazing. You could do, like, a better version of Game of Thrones Season 8. Uh, I didn't see it, but I believe you. You, you didn't miss much. <laughs> And we have you know, little embellishments, like a little little tummy on them oh, as well. Yeah, it's like you have something for dinner. Although that makes it a little harder to put on the... Uh, give him a little tummy to get that binder clip on. <laughs> give him a little tummy. <laughs> Didn't work out. Oh, look at that. It's already halfway stuck on there. All right. Losing my tape. So that's one of the dinosaur projects. So we've got yeah. a bunch of little projects kind of similar to this. Very simple beginner projects. We should really update them with our maker tape on there. And yeah. binder clips are kind of Definitely. our go-to. Again, we've been using these for a while. People tend to get the general idea of like, oh, yeah. binder clips. I'll use that instead of a paper clip. It's generally a better thing. So that's our dinosaur. I get my leg all the way Very through. Very cool. Um, 
So I uh, probably no more tape on him. Uh, but yeah, cool little paper crafts like this are really fun. You can apply the same approach to all sorts of DIY holiday crafts, like uh, paper circuits holiday stuff. So especially if you've got very crafty people in your house who are good with a pair of scissors or X-Acto knife, uh, use this approach just for all sorts of, of uh, paper circuits projects. It's simple, it's easy, and it's better, very cheap to do. So Josh, a new term here, circuit dragons. I like circuit dragons. Circuit dragons. Yeah, circuit dragons, yeah. Game of circuit dragons. <laughs> Yeah. I was promised dragons. Oh. Uh, but so there's that. There is that. Uh, so any, any other questions? Oh, and there's the little, those are the little toes too. The little, the oh, yeah, we got little toes. <laughs> I forgot about that. We, you, you cut out all the good stuff, yeah. Pete. I guess I'll well, put the machine did it. I just hit go. <laughs> it's true. But that's actually, if you have a Cameo Silhouette or a Cura Cutter, what other brands are there? Uh, Cricket or Cry Cut, whatever it's called. Yeah, you so use a laser cutter if you want. Oh yeah, a laser cutter for paper is like the best thing ever. It's overkill, but it's adorable. Overkill. I can do this. Uh, so we actually on our template here, it's a PDF you can download, and the last page of it are the templates for all these. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is, if you have one of those machines around, you can just like copy paste or import that last page into uh, your software, and it's just a vector file. So you can just use the resources yeah. we have to have your machine. There we go, little toes. I'm not gonna do that. Those are too small. I'm not. Yeah. Josh, yeah. do we do we have a version for older kids? I'm got what would it, what would that look like? I mean, <laughs> you can make your own. The thing with older kids is once you show them how to do this, have the older kids design their own thing. Yeah. That's way more. Once you get past a certain age, it's like. Once they learned a couple, like make a couple simple circuits with the tape, have them just design their own stuff because that's where the real fun and uh, interesting aspects come from it. Because honestly, this is kind of paint by numbers. And once you're past the age of 12, 13, got you know, middle school and the high school kids, mm -hmm. they can make their own really cool thing. Just be like, you know how to make a circuit. Here's a couple tips, here's a couple examples. Many you know, of those are, there are always kids that will want to do yeah. like the paint by numbers approach, and nothing wrong with that. But let them design their own thing. Just yeah. give them the freedom to do what they want once they make the circuit. And we do have, of course, tons and tons and tons of templates on our website. Yeah. But we kind of max out like the really paper crafty stuff at a certain point because it just gets like the really nice looking things just get really, really, really complicated. And I see a lot of people doing really nice like holiday things, especially. Yeah. They look nice, but they're like this. They're two <laughs> or three tones of paper just cut out of like cheap this is cheap card stock yeah. uh, we got a multicolored pack on amazon years ago uh and just do that have them make some interesting looking things that are simple they've done all the hard work and it's their design and that's what i always kind of recommend just taking that route because it gives a lot more ownership a lot more creativity to them because trust them they're they're older kids once they figure it out on their own, like trust them to do their own thing. And it's just tape on paper. If they screw up too badly, yeah. who cares? Take the LED and battery and binder clip off. Have them do their own thing. As long as they're, they're designing, making, and, and doing something interesting, yep. they're learning. And it's their own project. We actually have like a, a – Andy made a – our curriculum writer, Andy, made a really complicated but nice-looking three-dimensional flower. We have some like flat flowers, we get in this kind of style we did years ago. But the three-dimensional one is really cool. But it's complicated. Um, <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing. It's it's not an easy craft. We've got some of those vibrating 3D paper circuit stuff we have. Those are nice. But they're not easy. We even did a, a Tesla Cybertruck, which is on our uh, website. We didn't do the basic design of that. Elon Musk uh, <laughs> had somebody else do it for him. Then somebody took that design and made a really cool like three-dimensional paper craft out of it. Then we simplified it further. But even that, it was a lot of folds. It gets really complicated. And keep it simple. Keep it simple, get them doing their own work, play around. Like our solar bugs are really kind of cool, but it's a single piece of cardstock. Like it can't get much simpler than a single piece of cardstock cut out and then colored to look like a bug. So well, parts going everywhere. Keep keep it easy. Keep it simple, keep it easy. Everyone has fun. Life is good. Make a dinosaur. Yeah. And like, this is fun for adults too. I've seen adults do this, like, oh, this is kind of cool. A dinosaur. Right? People, are, people are simple. When I mean, it comes... Especially nowadays where you know, there's some anxiety and stress people are having about, you know, the pandemic, I'll say. Anyway, but, you know, take some time off. Make a fun dinosaur. Get your mind off things. Make Easy. a pterodactyl. P. Pterodactyl, yes. I, there's a great book called, like, the uh, – I 
like the hor- I can't remember it's like the horrible alphabet book. It's like oh. P is for pterodactyl. <laughs> And it's uh, K is for knife. X is for xyl- xylophone. Doesn't it start with X? Uh, Z- oh yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm but know. it's all like, uh, yeah. It's it's. Every time I think of like pterodactyl or whatnot, I just think of that oh, book just because it's sure. it's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, it's badness. But yeah, we got a bunch of these templates on our website. We should probably update these uh, old designs just to yeah. remove copper foil because copper foil. I, copper if you foil. have it, use it. Yeah. But if you can, try our, our nylon tape. just makes it so much easier. The right angle turns, the flexibility. There's so many things that we can do with it that you can't do with copper foil. It's worth giving a try and having it. As Cat Science Club found out with a tape, we sent her. It's cool beans. Yeah. Nice STEM idea. Well, we try to have a few nice STEM ideas. Some of them, bad. No, uh, <laughs> most of them are, are at least good, if not nice. We, we try to aim for nice. That's right. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, so try these guys out. Uh, we just actually, uh, I'm posting to social media. We just posted a really fun thing. Um, uh, Pete came in. He made a, a LED that lights up on Lego, but you light it, a, the light goes on and off blinking because you turn a hand crank with a piece of tape on it. And it just, it, a piece of tape on this hand crank comes around, turns on. It's hilarious. I posted that to Twitter and social, uh, Facebook. Uh, no, actually, Twitter and Instagram. We'll post to Facebook after this. I didn't have time. Um, but if you look on Twitter, it's up there now. It's kind of fun. And Pete has a couple of ideas for projects yeah. where, you hand crank something and it does like a Larson scanner, a little back and forth LED thing, or even making a piano, like an automatic piano where you hand crank it like the old timey player pianos, yeah. but it's with an Arduino and you're hand- manually hand cranking it, which is just hilarious. But those are projects we'll be posting up soon. Uh, once Pete gets back from vacation next week, because yeah. Pete's going to somewhere w- beautiful, warm, yeah, tropical, East Coast. Maryland, yeah. get some soft shell crab. Uh, maybe. Josh, we've got another question. Is What's happening tomorrow? Mm. Uh, it's Usually Friday is like our Friday hangout where we show the yeah. things we're working on and kind of talk about like things like the hand cranking, like projects we've got kind of in the works but yeah. haven't really uh, finished. Kind of like a preview of what's kind of going on. Um, so we're showing off a couple of those different Arduino projects we've been working on and uh, the cool light-up sign we, uh, oh, yeah. we by we, I mean Pete, put together. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And it's, it's if I just hang out, ask us any weird questions, show off a few things. If we get a new part in or something else shows up, like, hey, we got this thing in. But it's been pretty mundane around here, getting things in the mail and yeah. things out the door. I don't think, yeah. But we'll show off a couple things on Friday, as we always do. Or if there's a re- great request, I always tell people, have a good request to ask. Well, re- re- request. So, we take requests. Yeah. And if you missed something, you can always watch us back on YouTube again. Yep. These all are there forever. So one day, years from now, I can watch myself talk about dinosaurs. <laughs> hey, Pete, is this dinosaur green? Uh, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Green screen dinosaur. <laughs> yes. I, From now on. Two of them fighting. <laughs> ah, I have spikes. You don't have spikes. We have a green screen. We did not lay yeah. these bricks by hand. <laughs> Uh, on that fun note, I'm going to put yeah. things in the mail, okay. little tiny parts over and over again in the mail. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with like our end of the week kind of hangout thing. Yeah. Uh, next week, I have no idea what we're doing. I'm not here. Uh, he's not here. So <laughs> I'm going to try to find a couple of easy things guest. that I can manually do with a little <laughs> control pad and make it still look decent, yeah. one man thing. So um, I may force Andy to sit here and press like Ooh. one of three buttons. Pete's like, <clears throat> I can't ever hear those. I rim shots the whole time. We got a couple things. Maybe it'll be like best of paper circuits. Ooh. Or we could show off the lab. I don't know. We got stuff we'll show off. Oh, Anywho. Hey, we should show the music wall video tomorrow. Some of our someone's asking about that. Was it Cat or someone else? Oh, the music wall? I think it was Cat. Yeah, we should show that. There's the video well, there's, there's a video of the music wall yeah. up on, on social media, we too. Show it, on the stream. We have to take like a, how would we get over there? Like we have to move everything. No, we'll show a video, the video on the stream. Oh, okay. We'll show the video of the the wall on the stream. The of the wall on the stream. Say, you like, got you, it. You got it. Okay. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> or a really long USB cable. I don't know. Oh, we uh, max that like what? Sixteen feet. Uh, you can use um, Cat Five connectors with USB and go like. Under. Things you want to know. Oh, hey, Pete, <laughs> want to know a fun dinosaur factoid? Of course. There's been some photos flying around from scientists where. Um, They've been saying, like, hey, you know, if we evaluated modern-day animals the way yeah. we evaluate um, dinosaur bones and try to make a, a accurate representation, what would they look like? Because yeah. we don't know what dinosaurs were covered in. I'm pretty sure, like, feathers or some variety of feathers on a lot of a lot of your classic dinosaurs. 
found good evidence of that, but we have no idea yeah. really what they were covered in. So he just the leathery la- uh, lizard skin is probably not correct. Mm. So like, well, if we looked at like ancient, like modern day creatures in the same way from their bones, what do they look yeah. like? And it is horrendous. Like a flamingo <laughs> looks like an evil alien creature attacking you. Like a bear looks so weird. Like wow. anything covered in fur or hair or feathers, right. just it, horrible. We're like, so when you think of your classic dinosaur covered in scales, yeah. we're really far off. Um, yeah, uh, really far off. Just think of them covered in feathers. They're like really just angry birds. Like, what is a gigantic emu attacking you? And emus, as we know, are the most hilarious of the gigantic birds. So, emu power. On that note, we shall leave. All right. Take care, folks. Okay. See you Friday, maybe. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please visit browndoggadgets.com for parts, projects, and curriculum. Follow us on social media at Brown Dog Gadgets. Check out our live streams at Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. We'll see you next time.